Welcome to another video. I need to answer questions because of the video that I made on titration. And now I have these questions come up and I just want to answer them. So let's start with the first one. Is there a real solution to this? The answer is yes. And in fact, there are two solutions to this equation. And the answers are zero and one. Okay, now for those of you who like getting the answers at the beginning, you've got your answer, if that's your question. Okay, what else do we need to answer? Well, we need to know how else you can say it. We need to know how else you can write it. We need to know if there are other similar operations, which we call hyper operations, and you need to know the answer to this one, which I'm willing to give you now. Do you want me to subscribe? The answer is yes. Let's get into the video. So let's get all the answers. In the first video, I tried to avoid all the complexities that come with um, mathematical notations. I just wanted to explain the concept and make people have fun. And then I started seeing all kinds of comments in the comment section. And now I am forced to answer these questions. And here are the answers. Let's look at the solutions to this equation. Clearly, this is called a power tower tetration. You're stacking numbers up. Okay, let's answer that first. Number one. I'm going to come back and refer to this, okay? So, for number one, what we have is we have um, 3 to the superpower x. I'm just answering this question by saying superpower. So, that's another way you say tetration, superpower. I like that. So, we got 3 to the superpower x is the same thing as 3 raised to power 3, raised to power 3, and it keeps on going, and the height of it is x. But we don't know what that is. But if you consider this side, it tells you that it's 3 raised to power x. Well, 3 raised to power x does not have towers. All it has is just multiplication. How many of these do you need? Well, we need x of them. We don't know how many, but it's going to be x. So, in order for this and this to be the same, just imagine that you're comparing a skyscraper to a bungalow. Well, for the two heights to be the same, both of them have to be skyscrapers or they have to be on the same floor. And what is more likely is that their heights are the same. Well, we can test it out, okay? Let's test out what we have. By just looking, you could tell that if this was 3 superpower 1, it would be a tower of how many 3's? Just one 3. That's what this number represents. So it's going to be 3 to the first power, which if x is actually 1, is what we have. This is true. x equals 1 is a solution. And now we got one answer. x equals 1 works. The second one is when x is equal to 0. So if you come here, by definition, it does not matter what this is, as long as it is from exponentiation to tetration to um, pentation, whatever it is, as you go higher, starting from exponentiation, if this is equal to 0 as described in the definition, then this must be equal to 1. So, if you write this, it must be equal to 1. And we know that anything raised to power 0 is also equal to 1. So, as you can see, there are two answers to this, 0 and 1. These are the two cases in which tetration will be equal to exponentiation as far as real numbers are concerned. So we got the first answer out of the way. How else can you say whatever we've been talking about tetration? Is either you say that it is the zeroth tetration of 3 or you say 3 to the zeroth superpower. 
or the zeroth superpower of three, the first superpower of three. The, if we wrote two to the third, I mean, this way you say it's the third superpower of two instead of the third power of two, which would be if it was on the right. Okay, so we got this one out of the way. We got this out of the way. So two answers to this, those, those are possible. Make sure you recognize them when you see them on any competition question. That's what it is. Don't get disturbed. Now let's go to um, the next question. How else do you write it? Well, I just, oh, we're going to have to come here and then show you how you write it. I'm going to show you all the different forms in which it is written. In answering the third question, which is how else do you write it? We are already familiar with this because um, I already explained that it's a stack. It's a tower of numbers. So this is the height of the tower. One, two, three, four. And this is what you call the base. And this is what you call the height, which is this number. And you can say that this is the fourth superpower of three or three to the fourth superpower or you can say three tetration four or three tetrated to four okay but there's another way if you use what is actually the best way to write this which is canute this this is called canute's up arrow notation so let's write it here it's called canute's up arrow okay if you use one arrow, it means exponential, two arrows, tetration, three arrows, pentation, four arrows, hexation, and the number of arrows just keeps going. Now, there's a video that I'm working on, and I'm going to tell you that there are many arrows. I'm talking about billions of arrows coming in. So how else do we write this? Well, if we use Knut's notation, it's going to be three, because this is tetration, it's going to be two arrows. And there's going to be a four. That's how you write it. So write it this way, write it this way, or write it this way. And what really does this mean? Because tetration is difficult to conceive, but you can convert it to exponentiation. You can drop one of the arrows gradually. And what does that mean? This is the definition. So you're going to say it is equal to 3 raised to power, just as we do here. 3 raised to power, all of these. But this is now what? This is 3 with a base of 3, but a height of 3. So it's going to be 3, 2 arrows. Do you see that? So instead of writing it this way, you could write it this way, 3 raised to power 3 to the superpower 3, which is what we have here. 3 raised to power 3 to the superpower 3. And you can break this further down again and say this is equal to, watch, 3 to the... You can take this out again and move it up and say this is 3 to the superpower. So it's going to be a single arrow, but now you're going to have 3 to the superpower of how many? Two. And you can break this further down and say it's going to be three to the three to the, which is what we have, which is going to be three, up arrow three, up arrow, you pull this out. When you pull it out, you reduce, you're going to keep going until you can no longer have, until you have zero here, or until you have one there. So this is going to be three, and then you have one single arrow, and this reduces one, two, three, to just three to the one, but three to the one is just three, right? So this is what you're gonna have, and that's your final expression there. So these are the different ways that could be written. This is the most common way, because this way can be translated into other hyper operations, okay? What else is the question? Are there similar operations? Yes, like I said, if you change this n, when n is 1, you call it exponentiation. When n is 2, it's tetration. When n is 3, it is pentation, where you have three arrows, and you're going to have repeated tetration. That's scary. So instead of you doing this, if I gave you 4, and I had 3, oh no, not this. Okay, so if I wanted to write Pentation, I'm going to move my number down here. 
Okay, and then this is the same thing as, okay, it's scary. We're gonna get into it in another video. Okay, I wanna end this one. Did I answer all questions? Yes. And make sure you subscribe. Never stop learning. Those who have stopped learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.